the name himadri means the mountain of gold so it's a mountain so mountain has levels volumes the connection between each and the other floor uh, has to be interconnected so a person is standing in the middle of the floor like say you have g plus 4 okay uh, he can even connect to the uh, ground or he can even connect to the top my name is sharma I'm an architect based out of Hyderabad. The size of the plot is 63 feet by 72 feet. The orientation of the plot is north and then east. Approach is towards this side and this side. We have an entry towards this side. And then exit towards this side. So we have scooped out the north portion and made it as courtyard. Northeast portion we have scooped out for giving the foyer. The setback area we have utilized for having a pool. This is exactly behind the living area. And then when you open this entire uh, window behind the seating, so you see the pool and then you can feel the sound of the water. From the living area, you see the courtyard and then the central core of this house is this lift. You have a guest bedroom towards this corner. We even scooped this particular portion to have a staircase niche. You have a kitchen place here. And uh, since the dining area is uh, visible from the outside, we have created a screen outside the uh, dining area. We get the air, we get the light, but uh, for the privacy we had to do this. So the lot of spaces we have designed are multifunctional, where when you see the staircase, the, the, uh, the whole uh, sort of a staircase from the ground to the mid landing is all about sitting and then you know you can have conversations by sitting there and you, you see a courtyard exactly in front of you. We wanted the diffused light to enter into the house. So when you go to the first floor from the staircase, you see a lobby, you enter into a lobby. This is a staircase, this is a core lift and uh, when you turn on the left hand side you have a master bedroom chunk. When, when you see this you have two levels right so there that that particular portion it has to be defined as a circulation space where this part is your private thing and then that is a circulation space where you go towards the uh, toilet or to go towards the walk-in spaces. From the discussions we had, they wanted the children to also use this balcony. So we have uh, opened up from the lobby space to the balcony of master bedroom. The master bedroom balcony is very beautiful. They can overlook into the courtyard. You enter into the lobby, you have a very cozy seating space and you have an interconnection between the first floor to the drawing area, foyer and then uh, after this you have a library. We kind of had a dead wall for this library for um, privacy reasons. Also the, the kind of exteriors we have uh, um, uh, taken for this particular library, it's all blocked from the uh, northeast direction and then we have opened up from the ceiling. Okay, the skylight is giving almost all the light uh, whichever you are seeing right now. And then um, again uh, you can even um, uh, see the flooring, the flooring is all seamless. So you feel to sit even below. Um, and just have a, um, a, a coffee and then you know a kind of have a conversation with the kind of per with the person sitting uh, on the bench you know the, uh, so these kind of things happen there is a, a small uh, window cut out from the library so um, 
even it is closed or maybe you know when you are meditating or when you are studying so if you want to interact uh, you don't have to come out and then talk from the cutout you, you can just directly open the window and then talk to the one who is coming inside the house so this is a parents bedroom and you enter into this you have a walk in uh, closet and then you have a toilet here uh, so the bed is placed here and uh, you have a beautiful beautiful view towards the road you have a huge uh, columns placed for the building uh, when you see it from the outside you have that grandeur um, uh, from the columns so here um, the second floor is it's a very linear rectangular bedroom for a children bedroom you have a toilet here you have a walk in space the bed is placed over here you have a sofa and a chair with a coffee table so it's almost every room has balcony you enter into one more bedroom so you have a toilet here you have a walk in space for the balcony to have privacy here because the neighborhood is very nearby to this we had to create a sliding folding towards the outer periphery and uh, here comes the spa and when you come out and uh, go out from the lobby you have a very good sit out area the staircase is stopping in the second floor and uh, uh, at the core and then we had to give a staircase from the outer external staircase because we wanted this a uh, portion to be a happening space the landscape architect have designed it very nicely and then you have a cantilever cantilever staircase all the way towards the third floor yeah so when you come to the third floor you have all public areas and you have a gym and uh, you have a home theater and you have a sliding door till this line so you after after this portion it is all about having a garden it's like almost you are in and out of the balcony space in terms of facade so we kind of scooped out this portion we don't have a volume above this so this is almost g plus 1 structure and then here it is g plus 2 and then you have a balcony area here for the master bedroom and then this is a balcony for parents and this is a balcony for library and you have a balcony tucked in balcony for common area so if we talk about the materials uh, we used in the house it's all um almost natural uh, material so we have used italian marble we have used honey cotta we have used uh, Uh, basalt stone and then the chisel stone the sand stones and then the brick and um, the external facade and the, some parts we have used a cotton metal it is all uh, you know corrugated uh, we hand picked almost each and every material by traveling all parts of india this building is my baby okay so i when i when i come here and see this building i feel very proud and also very happy when you leave that aside and um, by not considering my feelings but but when you talk to the client who are already living in the house okay when you talk to them and if i know about their feelings so if they are happy i am more than happy